I don't know. What do dads talk about when they're grilling? The brewers or how those the royals are doing? That's not what we do. We're evolved men. We talk about Socrates and how deep my well is. Welcome to Wild at Home, I'm Richie, and today we're at the lake. There's the sun, there's the lake, and we thought to ourselves, today, this week is a great time to dive into grilling. So that's what we're doing, Grilling 101. We are going to break down probably one of the most iconic ways that we spend our time in the backyard with meat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break down two very, very simple ways to cook fish on the grill. We're going to do two things, like I said, right? In the center, we're going to put our traditional fish. We're going to put a piece of yellow eye and a piece of coho. Skin on, butter, hot grill. On the sides, we're going to build our fish temples with a stacking of citrus and wood and greens. And so the sides are just slightly hotter. The middle is kind of at a medium temperature. The grill is going to be anywhere between 400 and 450. That's kind of normal. Got your fly. Your grill. Number one thing, heat your grill first. Even before doing that, you're gonna to wanna to take out your grill scraper. Give that scraper a And like any good grill, guess what we have? Any good grill has a beer. And I'm at my parents, so that means I have only the highest quality beer, the champagne of beers. So it's not grilling without a high life or whatever, ooh, ugh, foamy. Ah, uh, not very good. Heat your grill ahead of time. Make sure those bars are hot. Oil the skin of your fish. That's gonna keep it from sticking or at least help. Let it sit and release before you flip it. That's gonna be the hardest thing. It's hands down the hardest part of this whole thing. And then oil the skin before you flip again. If you count it, that's five things. Those are the five tenets. That's for traditional grilling. We're gonna do that. We're gonna be basting as we do that as well. And the second thing here we're going to do is the fish temple. And that's gonna be a layering of either apple or oak or hickory, some sort of wood or a citrus. You can slice lemon or lime, anything that's gonna kind of protect that really harsh heat. It's gonna go on the grill. On top of that's gonna be some greenery. You can use radish leaves, you can use dill, you can use chives, you can use grass clippings. I'm using lavender for the white fish, which I think will be nice, and then chives for the salmon. So then on top of that, your fish goes, and on top of that, the butter you're gonna baste. We made a beautiful infused butter, which was a combination of scapes. They're in season, if you don't have scapes, you can use scallions or garlic or whatever it is. And then some onions, shallots, whatever you wanna use. Lemon zest, a little salt, a little pepper, and then you melt that, infuse it slowly, don't bring it to a boil or brown it, and then chill it and then we use that to baste. Oh, it's so nice. So what we're using today is coho and yellow eye. You can use any kind of salmon on the grill. In terms of whitefish, there are a few whitefish that do better. Your ling cod, nice and chunky fish, yellow eye, halibut, anything that's thick and can hold up. You can make, oh, this is the order of things. Oh yeah, you have a question, yeah. Okay, what's your question? You have to stand so they can hear you. Oh, everybody, what is to put chicken farts in your, in your fish? What, did you say chicken farts? That's optional. Well, I know, we're trying to make this episode funny. Chicken farts, always funny. Hands down, always funny. So this is how we're gonna do this. We're gonna build one with citrus and we're gonna build one with the apple wood. And these have been soaked, that's really essential. And your greens have been soaked too, otherwise they're gonna flare up and burn really quickly. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, here's a tip, don't stick your beer next to your grill. It's warm, ugh. Okay, hot on the outsides, middle in the middle. That's where your fish is gonna be. Your white fish, you're gonna lay it right on top. But then your salmon, you're going to put a little bit of butter right on this bed because your salmon is gonna go skin side down because you're leaving your skin on, right? Ooh. Yeah, buddy. Now your center grill, like I said, medium. You're gonna go skin side up, that's been oiled. Lay it across. Thick from thin, so you can take this guy off pretty quickly. This side down, because it's been oiled. Have you guys noticed I'm a fan of basting? Now close your baby. Now if you've ever wondered, do I grill with my lid on, or do I grill with my lid off? On. On and off. Depends. Today we're doing both because we have some thinner and thicker pieces. Generally the rule is if it is a thick piece of meat, grill with the lid down for the most part. That's, that's I don't know, that's like my dad advice. My father always grilled with his lid down. We got the sun now. Is it right on me? Let's see what we're doing. I'm gonna baste again at this point. So your fish temple is gonna take a little bit longer than your, um, your traditional grilled fish. But it's time to flip this one for sure. Oh, fish spatula. Do you know why? Yeah. And so you're, you're not really gonna scrape too much. Just be really gentle and you can get that skin to come back up. And then a quick flip, right? Look at that beauty. So how do you tell if your fish is done? Uh, the old poke test is always good. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mess around with thermometers. Um, fingers are nature's thermometer. And when you push gently into your fish, it should flake. This one's done. No doubt about it. Forever! So it's a beautiful flake. This yellow eye with a little bit of butter. Oh heaven. There's smokiness, of course, from that applewood. A nice, a nice little ting and tang with the yelp lemon and the chive. Mmm. Ever's missing out. Okay, that's it. We are wrapping up Grilling 101. Biggest things, fish spatula. If you haven't bought one yet, I know I'm getting under your skin. Oh, no pun intended. Buy a fish spatula. It is good for grilling. It is good for uh, taking a shower. Everything in between. Thanks to our incredible fishing families that have caught this incredible fish to make an incredible meal, to have an incredible experience. Thank you to our members for supporting Sika Salmon Shares, supporting our fishing families. The community of small boat fishing is dependent on support from members like you. If you don't know what we're doing here at Sika Salmon Shares, go to SikkaSalmonShares.com, explore the website, look into our share program. It's grilling season, it's salmon season, symbiotic relationship happening. And uh, learn about our fishermen and why it's important to support them. As a little bonus from me, you get a $25 off, wild at home, wild home is the code, 25 bucks off your first month's share. Tune in again next week. I don't know what we're gonna do, but you know we'll figure it out together. Actually, I do know what we're gonna do, and it's gonna blow your minds. It's gonna be a blast. So thanks for tuning in. Go out, fire your grill up, charcoal or gas, I don't care, I don't judge. Just get some fish on there and have a good time. Thanks for tuning in, stay wild.